The ATF has decided they want to ban the sale of training munitions that's less lethal training rounds, at least from one company that I have used as a USCCA instructor. And this could snowball if we don't make some noise. Before I get into it, I want to thank the sponsor of the video, and that's Lear Capital. As many of you know, I am very particular at who sponsors this show. And I want you to know that I choose Lear Capital because they are aligned with American values, and their priority is to help educate and inform people, you and I, on what's happening in not only just politics, but the economy as well, and how to protect and preserve the wealth you already have. They also have a must-read report called The Tipping Point, that explains why our American financial system is broken. Will the dollar die and force us to use a digital currency? What will this mean for gold and silver? There's a lot of great insider information in this new report and it's free. Lear helped me purchase my gold and my silver and they answered all of my questions. And there's no obligation to purchase, so give them a call, 1-800-260-5075 or go to leargg.com. Learn about gold-backed IRAs or 401ks or how storage works if you don't want to take possession of your physical gold and silver like I did. All right, guys and gals, give them a call at 1-800-260-5075 or head over to, head over to leargg.com. And thanks to Lear Capital for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, my name is Jared. This is Guns and Gadgets. And on this channel, I cover Second Amendment news, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, no matter where it happens in this country, from litigation to legislation and everything in between. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the crazy stuff that the government does to try to strip us of our rights, then subscribe to Guns and Gadgets down below. I'll bring you that news every single day. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell everybody. They can find that information here. Like the video if you get anything out of it. Share it with your friends. Why would the ATF ban training ammo? First off, uh, I have a very good friend, Matt, who is, uh, is in more contact with the company than I am. Uh, and he said that one of the directors told him that the ATF was telling them they couldn't sell this ammo if any part of it or the ammo itself was imported into the country. They couldn't sell it unless, of course, unless it was law enforcement or the government, um, they're taking away your ability to train the good way, force on force, without actually blowing a hole in your arm like the guys who were on Instagram yesterday doing that stupid training drill where they shot his buddy through the bicep. I'm going to show you the letter that UTM put out, and I, and I want I want to come back and talk about this because this this is a weird, and B could be very bad. Here's the letter from Ultimate Training Munitions, and it says, "Dear valued UTM customer, Ultimate Training Munitions has been the leading provider for non-lethal training ammunition and gun conversions to U.S. military and law enforcement for almost two decades." Additionally, we have been honored to have served and supported the private security, professional training, and shooting enthusiast community for almost as long. We are dedicated to the mission of training, as well as sporting use of UTM products and services for all citizens of this great country. Many of our products, including ammunition and conversions, are made in our state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in the United Kingdom and imported to the U.S. for delivery to our broad customer base. Recently, we have been notified that the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives has limited the import and delivery of our non-lethal training ammunition to military and law enforcement customers only. Unfortunately, the consequence of this is that we are currently only able to import our training products for these customers and not any other customers or markets. While we are dedicated and honored to serving our military and law enforcement brothers and sisters who will experience no change in availability or lead time of UTM products, our hope is that the restriction will be lifted at some point and we can resume supporting the entire shooting community with our products and services. We do want to reiterate that this is not a UTM company decision, but rather a very recent decision that has been imposed by the ATF and is beyond our control. In summary, orders and deliveries for military and law enforcement customers are not affected by this change, but any non-military or non-law enforcement customers will not be able to purchase UTM products direct from distributors 
effective immediately. UTM would like to thank all of you who have used our products for your support over the years, as well as during this time. We look forward to the opportunity of making UTM available to you again in the future, as any changes to restrictions allow. Until then, we will continue to service what customers we can and are determined to continue to grow in product development, production, and design as we forge into 2024 and beyond. If you have questions, please feel free to contact our inside sales slash customer service team at sales at utmusa.com. Thank you. So as I said uh, earlier, uh, force on force training with, you know, non, with less than lethal rounds uh, is a very, very good way to train because you f not only do you know when you made a mistake, you feel when you made a mistake. And it's easier to get shot with something that'll sting you a little bit than something that could kill you a lot bit. The question I have is twofold. Why, one, why would the ATF decide to stop the, tra the import of training ammunition, at least on the civilian sector? Why? Why would they not want people to train with a gun where they wouldn't in, you know, inflict major damage on people when training? Well, the answer to me is they don't want you to have that, that knowledge. They love to use it. Believe me, uh, when I was on the job, we used it constantly. Uh, in the, when I was teaching in academies, uh, when I was you know, taking follow-up classes, becoming an instructor, even in the private sector as an instructor with the USCCA, we used it then and there too. The second part is, is if they can, at a whim, just stop the import of, of ammunition, what are they going to do going forward for the rest of the ammunition that is imported? We've already seen them stop certain types of ammunition because they deem it non-sporting. Non However, nowhere in the Constitution, nowhere in the Bill of Rights does it say ammunition for our Second Amendment, which is covered by our Second Amendment, has to be for sporting purposes or can only be used by military and law enforcement. Nowhere does it say that. So ATF has taken yet another unconstitutional leap into the pool of bullshitness to restrict you on what you can do, what you can train with, and this could starve our ammunition going forward. Let me know what you think about this. I'm, I'm pissed, you know? A lot of people will say, oh, so what? You know, I don't use that stuff. No big deal to me. That's the reason you, your attitude is why they get away with this stuff. We need to pull together, guys. We need to stop the bullshit. We need to stop the tyranny. Be loud and be proud. What can I do, Jared? Well, you can reach out to UTM, but I think you're going to be better serviced by calling and being irate about the fact that this happened, calling your legislators. Let them know that this happened because they can stop this. But will they? If enough people call and make noise, we'll have a problem, we'll, we'll have a chance. But if people sit back and say, ah, pff, ah, who cares? I'm gonna go on TikTok or something, then we're done with it. Let me know what you think down below. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you for your time. Like this video and share it if you think other people should see it, because I think everybody should see it so that they can start making calls, making our legislators aware of what ATF did at the drop of a hat. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.